Hello everybody! I hope you guys are having a great Friday. It's my first time going live in here, so pretty excited. Uh, my name is Ashley Crocker. I'm one of the coaches here at WAG. And today I am coming on to talk to you guys about nutrition while traveling. It is the holiday season and I know that so many of us are traveling and I've been talking to a lot of my clients about snack ideas for traveling, how to handle you know, your nutrition while traveling. And I am going to be traveling this upcoming weekend so I thought what a perfect topic to talk about. Um, so I am actually going to be taking a road trip this weekend so there might be a couple of things that you couldn't necessarily take on a plane, but when you're flying, you can actually take like quite a bit of food on. You just can't take any liquids. So as long as your food is in like a clear baggie, you're good to go for flying. But anyways, so the main thing while traveling, as I'm sure that many of you guys know, is protein. It's hard to find protein when we're traveling because we're away from our routine, we're away from our fridge, our favorite grocery store. So that is a big thing that I look for when I'm picking up snacks and items for traveling. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in. So I like to bring a cooler when I am traveling because then I can bring along like meats with me. And I know that there's a fridge going to be at the hotel that I'm staying at. So I grabbed some deli meat, which is really great for just like straight up protein. You can have it as a snack or put it on some bread for a sandwich. Super easy. And then also I like to get pre-cooked chicken breast. These are also super great for traveling. Um, and these ones, I got them from Trader Joe's and they're already... Um, pre-packaged so that makes it even easier um, I got some hard-boiled eggs now these are good for like a snack and I know you're probably thinking ew that's gross actually a hard-boiled eggs but just get yourself some everything but the bagel seasoning to put on your hard-boiled eggs and I promise you they taste way better um, and I picked up some protein shakes this brand, Premier Protein, is one that I like for traveling because it has 30 grams of protein. Now, those shakes aren't something that I get all the time, but they're really great for traveling, 30 grams of protein. And if you're flying, you can go ahead and pre-measure out protein powder in a baggie and just take it along with you. Um, a cool breakfast find that I found is from Kodiak Cakes but it's actually oatmeal. So these are those oatmeal cups that you can get and just add in hot water. So I'm gonna have these for breakfast and they have 14 grams of protein, which is really solid. So 14 grams of protein in this. Um, and let's see, I'll go into my protein bars next. So um, these are just basically like beef jerky. This is, the brand is Chomps. It's really good. It has 10 grams of protein, just like easy protein snack. And then also Epic, their um, little chicken beef jerky bars. These have 13 grams of protein. So also another good snack idea. Um, the other bars that I like, RX Bar. This is a really good one. And also Epic makes um, some other protein bars too. They're similar in consistency to an RX bar, so I recommend both of these. And then Oat Mega. This is actually a really good protein bar that I like. Um, it has more of like a crispy texture. Um, really good. And let's see, what else do I have? Um, I have these little white cheddar cheese stars. These are basically just like little cheese crackers, but they have pretty good macros and they're really lightweight. So you can have a lot of volume for the serving. Um, 
So the macro is on these seven protein, 14 grams of carbs, and seven grams of fat. So not too bad. The brand is Imagine. I just found it at like Kroger. Um, another traveling staple for me is rice cakes. So these are really great for like a crunchy snack and the macros are only like um, nine grams of carbs per rice cake. So that is a good one. And I also picked up just some apples. And so these are really good. They're, they're called fruit sauce crushers. I got them from Trader Joe's. But they're basically like applesauce slash baby food type things. Um, but they're really good. They're just um, 13 or 14 grams of carbs for a little pouch. So you could pair this with some deli meat for a protein and carb snack. Um, and I also picked up some little mini bell peppers. So these are really good to just snack on. They're veggies, and veggies is another thing that we're usually lacking when we travel. So I like to have you know little bell peppers, cucumbers, baby carrots. Um, another good one, sugar snap peas. Those are actually a really good crunchy snack. Um, so if you're like on a road trip and you're really feeling you want to eat something snacky, I usually go for the veggies first versus going straight for like a bag of chips, okay? So that's a really good option. Um, and let me see. Okay, so tips for eating out. Um, so if you are looking for fast food, Chick-fil-A is usually my go-to because they have some really good options and their portion sizes are pretty consistent across the board. Their grilled nuggets are really good. Their grilled chicken sandwich is really good. They have really good salad options, but with the salads, you can always opt for grilled chicken if it comes with fried chicken. Um, watch out for the dressings though. The dressings can um, set you back like 30 grams of fat. So make sure that you get one of the lighter options like Italian or balsamic. Those are really good. Um, and another little hack for eating out that I really like is going to a grocery store, okay? Um, what I like to do is pick up, so a thing of like baby spinach or I have some spring mix, so you get it in this, the little plastic containers, and then you have your protein to put on top of it, and for like the dressing, you can grab some guacamole cups or like the hummus cups and mix it all up, and it's a really good like salad, and you get a lot more food, and you have control over what goes in it, so I love to like hop by the grocery store and make a little something like that for lunch. Um, another option, pick up some tortillas or bread and you can make a little wrap or a sandwich. Um, that's another really good option. Um, and like I said earlier, if you're driving in the car, bringing along a cooler with you will really open up your options for food. And I also wanted to touch on hydration and staying hydrated. So if you are flying, bring a big water bottle with you, okay? But make sure it's empty before you go through security. And then in pretty much any airport, they have stations to fill up your water bottle. So you bring your big empty water bottle, fill it up in the refillable station, and you're good. If you're driving, I just like to be stocked up with a lot of water. I know that you'll have more um, bathroom breaks, but it's easy to get dehydrated when you're traveling. And also, if we're super dehydrated, we might think we're hungry and then end up snacking a little bit too much. So I always opt to stay really hydrated, even if I have to stop and go to the bathroom more often. Um, sparkling water, I like to bring that along too. Um, and then bringing along gum. So a lot of times when we're traveling, we might get a little bit just bored. And 
instead of going to the snacks right away because we may not really be hungry, have some gum. <laughs> that really helps. Um, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Oh, one more tip that I almost forgot. So anything you're going to be bringing along with you that is in a big bag. So say you have a bag of pretzels or a bag of popcorn or you're bringing cereal. I highly recommend that before you leave, you go ahead and pre-portion out servings in little Ziploc baggies and then write, you can like write the macros on there or write how much you have in the baggie. But that is really helpful because to like have a serving in a baggie versus just eating straight out of the bag because we can easily crush a whole bag of whatever. So I find that going ahead and pre-portioning out snack items like that helps so much. But a little planning goes a long way when you're traveling. I know this might seem like a little extensive, but it is always better to be like overly prepared like versus getting stuck hangry somewhere with only like an $8 bag of chips in the airport option. You know what I mean? So um, going ahead and pre-planning can help a lot. Um, and one last thing, when you're traveling, there are going to be things that are out of your control. Your flight might get delayed. There might be bad weather when you're driving. The list is endless, but your nutrition is something that you can have control over. You know, you can bring along these snacks, plan ahead for meals. You can look ahead at a menu at a restaurant. You can always do a little bit of planning and control in that area. Um, so control what you can control, and that helps so much when you're traveling and yeah so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions about this comment below and i will come back and answer your questions um yeah any questions about traveling or snacks or maybe you have a struggle that i didn't touch on um put it in the comments below and i will get back to you but i hope this was really helpful for you guys and um I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.